Hello friends, welcome to Eltropic Cells. If you like our channel, please don't forget to like, share, subscribe and press the bell icon for getting further notifications. Hi friends, this is a tech video. Here you can see, it's a external IA adapter. See friends, I made this adapter 4 years before. Because of that, I could not create a making video regarding this external IR adapter. So we will do a video soon regarding the making of this IR adapter. Here I use two IR LEDs and a 3.5 mm audio jack from old remote. Here you can see we can connect this IR blaster in our smartphones. It is useful for for the smartphones with the, doesn't have any IR sensor inbuilt on it. So you can convert your smartphone as a remote using this external IR adapter. So here while using the IR adapter only some of the device supports this external IR adapter facility. You can download different remote applications from the play store but only some applications support the external IR facility. Here you can see this is one of the remote application I downloaded from the play store but here you can see it doesn't support external IR. So you need to search it and download proper application which supports the external IR. See friends this is the another application you can see now the lights are turned off you can see the IR LED lights while I am pressing the remote button on the mobile screen see friends I will show you see friends you can see the light IR light blinking so this means that this application supports external IR adapter. See friends. We can easily create external IR adapter using old remotes. So here I use two LEDs for increasing the strength of IR Now I will show you the working of this IR sensor on TV it's a Sony TV remote So now I will show you the working See friends, it's a Sony TV remote application that I downloaded from the Play Store. You can see. Now I open the app. See friends. You can see the app dictates the external IR adapter. You can see when I disconnected, it shows that the input is disconnected. When I connected the IR sensor, IR adapter back to the phone, it will show a pop-up message saying input connected. See friends, so you need to search and download the applications from the Play Store that supports external IR adapter. So one disadvantage is here you can see my headphone jack is on the bottom portion of the mobile phone you can see. So to operate this remote I need to keep the smartphone upside down. See friends, so it's a disadvantage of this model IR adapter we can overcome it making a wired external IR adapter so we will soon make the video regarding that we can see using this IR external adapter now it TV is working see 
see friends another disadvantage of using this external IR adapter is here we connecting the IR adapter in the headphone jack so because of that while using this device the device audio will be muted in all time so while using if a call comes then the audio will be muted so it's a disadvantage of this model so that's it hope you like this video see you in another video with other interesting topics thank you for watching